been thinking about this painting a lot recently. It's one of the first paintings that I completed out of undergrad eight years ago, and I'm thinking I'm coming to the time where I really want to create an updated version of it. This was a painting that came from a sketch I did of Sam sleeping on a bed after we went to a party the previous night. There is a pile of blankets and then this is sort of the top of the head and there's an eye here. The body sort of curves around back here. I was really into design and stuff and patterning. So the one thing that I do like about the painting is that there is a sense of flow that's happening with the pattern. So you can see sort of the folds in the blanket here. Also, this is super textured. If I get close enough, you can see that here. I did it with a little squeegee paint thing. And then also this layering of these different types of yarn and knit type blankets here. But I don't think that the image is very clear and I wish it was more clear. I want more of a sense of that light in the morning, the illumination that would be hitting right here. I was using house paint and acrylic, so the paint is actually very flat and plasticky. It's something I don't like. So if I zoom in here, you can see how plasticky that is. That's eh, not my favorite. Also, the surface is still not quite the surface that I would like. I consider this rather rough. And also I have this TV here. Nobody knows what this is. Everybody always asks me about it. It was part of a TV. It makes no sense in the rest of this painting. It's kind of square when everything else is very organic. You have these shades here, these curtains that sort of fall down into this body here, down into the, into the floor. There are some parts that are really off. I also think that the coloration, it's more like a silk screen. I could see a print of this. It doesn't really make sense for a large scale painting. So I really want to integrate more colors, make it feel more rich, have more involvement between the different colors rather than laying them right next to each other. Like you can see here, there's no color that's actually touching. It's really just say five colors that are put next to each other, which was a style I was into at the time, but I'm just not there anymore. A thing that I think I did well here is involving a bunch of different types of brush strokes. So I have a big brush here that made these strokes, a littler one for this one that wasn't maybe a hard edge, uh, uh, tubing, uh, like a piping tube, and then a tiny brush for these kind of staticky things. Oh yeah, and a palette knife to make these sorts of prints up here. But I think sometimes the details didn't really serve the painting. So for instance, you can't really tell these little static pieces here looking back from far away. The scale just isn't that great and the contrast just isn't that great. And also I think that some of the details like the texture, I put silver in this gray paint there's there's no point when you're this far away you can't really see it so that's what I think about this painting overall stay tuned for the updated work